Hi everyone and welcome to the center. You probably haven't been here for a long time, but uh, the COA staff has been. Um, I'm Roberta Lynch, Director of the Council on Aging, the center, and um, I just wanted to update you on what we've done since our closing on March 20th and what we're planning to do for the upcoming month in September. Um, it's hard to believe that it's been five months that we've been closed. Um, we've, we've really, We've really missed everyone being here. It's been very difficult um, being in the building without all of you. So I can't wait until the day we can open up our doors and get back to normal. Closing was uh, kind of traumatic for everyone uh, out in the world, you know. So uh, I know everyone's looking forward to getting getting back to normal, hopefully soon. But we, uh, when we were closed, we did. You probably got a lot of phone calls from us. We made almost probably 2,800 phone calls over the first three months, just checking in with people to see how they were, if they needed anything. We delivered food from the YMCA in Franklin every Wednesday. Uh, we delivered masks. Um, we, just, we, we just delivered books if you needed books from our library. And so we just tried to do all that outreach that we do when you're in the building, but we did our job with nobody being in the building. So um, it's kind of nice to share with you today what's going to happen in uh, September. Many of you got the August newsletter and realized that we're starting to do outdoor programs. Uh, we do small outdoor groups limited to six. We do outdoor yoga that's limited to 10, and both those activities will continue in September. Um, but so, September is a big month because we have the primary election on September 1st. It will be here. Voting will be here from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. If you need a ride to vote, a lot of people are probably doing early voting or absentee voting, but if you need a ride to vote on that Tuesday, call us on Monday before and we'll schedule a time to pick you up. One of the things with this COVID is that our transportation is different. Our buses, we're limited to the number of people we can put on the bus. So our very large bus, which is 14 passengers, we only put three people on that bus. Our middle bus, which is 11 passengers, we only put two people on that bus. And our small, um, our older vehicle, uh, eight passenger, we only put one person on that bus. So there'll be a lot of runs that uh, Peter, who runs our transportation, will be making on Tuesday to get people to vote. But all you have to do is call the Monday before. The other thing I want to talk about before we kind of walk around and see our beautiful patio is the um, federal census. So the federal census goes through September 30th. Um, and it's really important, and it's on the front of my September newsletter about the federal census. It's really important that people uh, respond and, and complete the census because not only for um, the town, the schools, but for this Council on Aging, we get a dollar amount per senior, 60 plus and older, from the state every year. But that census, that lasts us for 10 years. So for the next 10 years, it's gonna be based on the 2020 census. So it's really important if you're 60 and over, please complete that census so we can get credit for everybody in the town because that is what the money for the Council on Aging is based on. So enough about that. I wanna move on and have you see our beautiful patio out back. So now we're sitting out on the center patio and it's absolutely glorious out here. You'll see pictures of uh, the garden behind the bocce court. We have the beautiful knockout roses that surround the patio itself. And we have our gorgeous new umbrellas that Fosse uh, provided the center. And it's, it really is lovely out here. And this is where we have our small groups meet. They either meet um, around the tables or we have just armchairs that they can sit at and some go behind the building when it gets really sunny because we have a lot of sun here. It really is a lot of space for those small groups and it's, I think it's really important. I've seen a lot of people back about a month ago, people were, a couple months ago, people were coming to this, the building here to pick up their uh, bingo cards because we've been playing conference call bingo which is uh, so much fun if anyone's interested. But you know, you see people when they've been home for so long and maybe haven't been exercising and, and not socializing and, and it's really important to get out and socialize and that's why I think these small groups are wonderful. 
Um, you know, a couple of rules go along with them. It's limited to an hour. You need to uh, reserve your day and time. We ask you screening questions before you come in. Um, tradition, you know, the, the questions that everybody's asked when you go somewhere. Uh, we have hand sanitizer on the tables. Um, and you can bring your own drink and food if you want, uh, but we don't serve anything right at this time. But the, the groups are a great way to get out and socialize and be with people and actually laugh because uh, there's not a lot of laughter going on. And so I encourage people to, to meet here at the center and the beautiful patio and the chairs and it's just lovely. I want to thank actually uh, Medfield TV because when we shut down they were able to film two of our exercise instructors and daily at 10 a.m. they have been showing our exercise classes and I know a lot of people have taken advantage of that and even though we you know we are only offering outdoor yoga at this time some of those classes that are on at 10 a.m. are really important and very good for you um, to sit in your chair, your living room, and do those exercises because we need to keep up our strength. One thing um, coming up in September, and it's September 29th, we are going to have a flu clinic here sponsored by CVS. And uh, the details of that haven't been um, formulated, but it will be held here. It probably will be by appointment. You will probably have to fill out your paperwork before you come into the building. We'll have one way in, one way out, um, and that's the preliminary uh, idea I have floating in my head. So most things are a work in progress, and I say baby steps um, all the time. We're taking baby steps, and so we will work to do a flu clinic here so everybody uh, has the ability to get their flu shot if they want it here, but you can go other places, uh, but we'll do it safely and follow the protocols. On September 9th at 11 a.m., we have um, Sheriff McDermott is going to be holding a Zoom presentation, and that is September 9th at 11 a.m., and he's going to talk about his department and what they've been doing during this time and, and what they do in general. And if you remember back some time ago, we went to the, the, uh, the correctional facility in between uh, 128, which was so interesting. And hopefully someday we'll be able to get another group to go in and tour that facility. That, that was really quite wonderful. Um, so that again, that's a Zoom presentation. And if you need help with Zoom, all you have to do is call us and we can direct you to a site that is very simple to follow to get on a Zoom uh, presentation. You know, I mentioned about uh, Fosse supplying, uh, buying us these new umbrellas, which are so colorful and vibrant. Uh, they are now a member of Smiles on Amazon, and that is for nonprofits like Fosse. If you go on to smile.amazon.com and you make your purchases and you select uh, Fosse as your nonprofit that you want to donate some money to, um, every purchase you make, a uh, little bit of that will go into the Fosse, and so it helps to support our friends group. So that's in the newsletter. You can read about that if you're an Amazon shopper. I know I have become a big Amazon shopper since March 20th. Um, I look forward to my packages. It's like the most fun thing my whole day. A couple other things happening. Um, we've been doing grab-and-go lunches. HESCO's been providing uh, lunches that are pre-packed on Wednesdays and they range from chicken salad, turkey and cheese, ham and cheese, um, seafood salad. It's in the newsletter um, and it's they ask for a $3 donation for the lunch. So that's on Wednesdays. If you're interested, you just have to call on Monday and I'll order you a lunch. You can come by and pick it up. But starting in September, for those of you who may not drive or may not want to drive, um, we'll have a volunteer deliver the lunch to your house. So it's a different lunch than what the traditional Meals on Wheels is. This is more of a sandwich with chips and fruit and um, potato salad or coleslaw. It's, it's pretty yummy. and um, it's available to you if you want it. Just call on Monday before uh, the Wednesday. So one of our seniors, um, Ruth McGovern, she's been a member here at the center forever, and she is the biggest fan of the royal family. She knows absolutely everything about that family that she can learn. Um, but she is going to uh, come on September 15th, with, which actually is Prince Harry's birthday, and I picked that date specifically. And she's going to um, share her knowledge and information about the royal family with uh, 
whoever's interested in listening. Um, she started a couple weeks ago when we were doing a conference call bingo, and I'm like, no, Ruth, you have to stop because you're going to give it all away. Nobody's going to come to your presentation. So that is on Tuesday, September 15th. That's at 2 o'clock. That'll be outside. Um, I'm hoping that by then we'll have our tents set up. We purchased two tents, which will give us a 1,300 square feet of covered space, so protection from the sun, and we'll be able to hold programs out there. And I want to just thank uh, family in Medfield made that donation for us to buy those tents, and I am um, just so appreciative of that. But um, definitely sign up for Ruth's because she just, she, when she starts, you just, uh, you can't stop her. She just, the, the information just flows out of her mouth. It's wonderful. So I talked about conference call bingo, um, and we have plenty of bingo cards. You keep them. Those are your cards for the duration. Um, and we play on Tuesdays and Fridays at 1130. The entire game takes about 40 minutes. Today, I got caught up with something, and forgot about it, so my chairman called me on my cell phone and said, what about bingo? And I was like, ah! So I jumped on the phone and we played our five games of bingo and it was, uh, it was it's fun. And we do trivia in between, so if you're a trivia person, you'll like the in between part too. I want to talk about our club program. Our club program, the Adult Respite, Peer, uh, Ad Adult Respite Care Program, uh, as you know, has been running in this building since um, 2012 and truly had when we shut down everything shut down and of course we all know and we've heard that uh, people older individuals with underlying conditions are more vulnerable to the virus and have more complications so that program um, like all was suspended uh, but right now what they're doing for people caregivers who are caring for a loved one at home, they're offering one-on-one um, -on -one time here in the center in a one-on-one -on -one group. Um, and the, care, the caregiver brings a loved one, uh, gets them in the chair, and then they can go off and do their thing for an hour. And Kathy and Trish um, provide conversation, stimulation, a uh, lot of laughs. And so it's an hour of free time for the caregiver. So if anyone is interested in that one-on-one, -on -one, it's actually uh, client plus two, so one-on-two, -on -two, um, just give Kathy Powers a call here at the center and she'll return your call um, and talk to you about what she's offering. It's really, a, for caregivers, it's really important to get a break, um, especially now, this has been a long five months and being home 24-7 is, is a lot for people. So. Right now, this is what we can do, and we're hoping to increase our uh, offering in that program. Um, but it's, the club is a wonderful program, so um, please give Kathy a call and inquire about it, because we will be up and running again, um, hopefully soon. So Susan Bernstein is our volunteer coordinator, and she um, manages so many different programs, but the one I'm going to talk about right now is the Volunteer Medical Ride Program. She has a handful of volunteers that are willing to drive people to medical appointments. Again, because of the virus, we have a lot of um, policies and protocols for someone accessing a volunteer driver ride. Um, and Susan will go over that with people when they call for their ride. Uh, we will not be transporting anybody into Boston at this time. So it's local rides. Um, if you, need, you have a need, uh, you can call us, but we want to make sure that your appointment uh, definitely needs to be in person. Uh, we ask that you check with your doctor to see if it could be telemedicine or over the phone before um, you call us that you need a ride to the doctor because we want to keep everybody safe, um, the, the rider and our driver. It's, it's great, you know, to have those volunteer drivers bring uh, folks to the medical appointments because you, people don't always want to call their adult children and say, you know, I need to have another doctor's appointment, have another doctor's appointment. So it's nice to have the benefit of volunteers um, helping out with that. Uh, so again, uh, we're here to help you, but check with your doctors first to make sure it's an, it has to be an in-person um, appointment. A couple of things we're going to do. So I've heard that other um, 
senior centers have been sending out cards and so forth. And one of my seniors who comes for knit knitting here, Janice, uh, we were talking about different things and she said, I think we need a pen pal program here. Like people just writing people um, and just a note to say, hello, how are you? Or what have you been doing? And so um, there's something in the September newsletter about the Center Pen Pal Club. And I think it's a, a great idea. Uh, just to communicate. I mean, because there's a potential that this could, we could be like this maybe till January, maybe February. Um, and it's really important, like I talked about the socialization and the connection with other people. And so this is just another way to do that. Um, I know I get excited when I actually get a letter in my mailbox and not just junk mail or political flyers. So if you're interested in that and, and you want to become a pen pal with someone, definitely give us a call because I think it's a worthy program and would love to get that going. Transportation. Transportation is uh, run by Peter and uh, that's an interesting thing with the COVID is because, uh, like I mentioned, the buses, you know, the number of people, but we also brought the buses to a uh, place in Framingham and there is a plastic barrier between the driver and the uh, riders. So that's been a whole nother process for us um, with, the, with the transportation. But we do have shopping trips. We go to Shaw's on Mondays. We go to Market Basket at Walmart, Whole Foods, um, the paper store on Wednesdays uh, in Bellingham. And then we go to Roach Brothers on Fridays. And in between on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, Peter's been uh, helping people get to some of those medical appointments. Um, we haven't quite started with the, I think we've only done one ride with the volunteer uh, driving program, but he's been in the meantime helping people get to those necessary doctor's appointments on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The other thing, uh, Lisa Donovan is the uh, outreach coordinator. And um, unfortunately we've had, um, several losses of members here um, and so she is initiating a bereavement group and it will be starting on September 4th that's Friday um, and it is will be out here on the patio uh, so just trying to you know everybody's experienced a loss and then those of you who who have also lost the love of your life or a parent or someone um, it's it's like double triple so um, if you're interested in that, please call the center and we can um, connect you with Lisa to talk about that so you have some idea of what's going to be discussed and how it can be helpful. So there's a lot in the newsletter. Um, if you don't get the newsletter in the mail, I always have a box out front, a plastic box with the month in the newsletter. So obviously right now, August newsletters are out there in September. I'll have a stack of September newsletters. We also have a box out front of crossword puzzles from the Boston Globe. So if you like to do the puzzles, uh, you can stop by and pick up one of those. And the other thing that's out there, and I wanna say this, there is a big plastic container and in that plastic container are all the jackets that were left behind in our closet when we closed. So I'm gonna leave that out probably through the middle of September for people you can go through, see, think if you lost a jacket, if so, please come and look through that bin and see if it's there because otherwise I think by the middle of September, we'll probably put it in one of the um, bins for a local charity. Um, but just think of that if, if you lost a jacket. I think I'd know if I lost a jacket. We have a lot of jackets in that bin. It's okay for you to, if you want to ride by and beep your horn and we can come out and say hello to you. If you don't want to do a small group, it's always nice to have company here. The days do get a little long sometimes. I want to, you know, thank Cable A for coming here and letting me uh, talk about the center and what has happened and what we're doing and obviously how we want to get back to where we were. So please um, come by, say hello. If you have any questions, call the center at 359-3665 or you can email any one of us. Um, it's our letter of our first name, last name at medfield.net and it, all email addresses are on the back. If you have any questions about anything, please don't hesitate to call. We'll help you in any way we can. So thank you so much for listening and hope to see you soon.